Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, today is the feast of St. Clair, a very powerful, humble saint of our church. St. Clair was born in 1193 in Assisi, and as a young teenager at the age of 18, she was inspired by a homily she heard from St. Francis of Assisi and decided to commit her life to poverty. For St. Francis, and that's why the Pope has taken on his name, not because of his love for animals, but rather his love for those who are poor, inspired St. Clair that she began a community called the Clare Poor Nuns, or the Poor Clare Nuns. And this signifies the importance of serving those who are most in need. That's living the gospel, especially the gospel of Matthew 25, in which Jesus says, whatever you do to the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you do to me. On Palm Sunday, or Passion Sunday in 1212, she secretly left her home, and she went to the place where St. Francis lived with his community. She received her humble habit from him and went on to live in a nearby Benedictine convent. St. Clair was then later joined by her sister Agnes and others, and so that's where they began their community. Believe it or not, Claire's own mother and then her sister Beatrice also joined them. And so she became the um, abbess of the poor Claire nuns. These women modeled their life after the example of St. Francis, who was moved by the teachings of Jesus to live simply and to walk with those who are poor. Often the poor Claire nuns were found to be without shoes. They slept on the ground, and they never ate meat. How many of us, myself included, sometimes are found complaining about not eating meat on Fridays, and yet here are a bunch of people who refrain from eating meat, period, and not for health reasons, for the fact that this was a sacrifice they were giving to God. Before long, there were many, many places throughout the world in which communities were also formed. St. Francis taught that his friars, that their needs would be met by the daily contributions. And so it was also adopted by Claire's radical desire for poverty, that this was also practiced in her community too. For over four decades, St. Clair served her community and assisted St. Francis in his mission. Before she died, she received permission from the Pope to start her own religious way of life. And so her rule for religious life was written as a woman for women. She was credited with many miracles and was canonized just two years after her death which for the most part is unheard of. And that just shows to you the example that St. Clair left, that anyone who knew her knew that indeed she lived the gospel message to the very core of her being. May the example of St. Clair, not just for religious women, but for all of us, be an influential part of our own spirituality. How can we be more generous with what we have? Are we just giving from our excess, or do we help others with our time, talent, and treasure from our heart because there is a need? Are we willing to put our lives aside? Are we willing to make small sacrifices for love of Jesus and love of brother and sister? This is what St. Clair is calling us to do. Why? Because it's Jesus who asked St. Francis, St. Clair, and each one of us to do that. And if the Blessed Mother says, do whatever he tells you, so we should do. So let us ask St. Clair to continue to intercede for us. Let us pray that many more people like ourselves will be more like St. Clair and be another Christ for others, especially those who are on the fringes of society. For the voiceless, 
and those who are most vulnerable. St. Clair, pray for us. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.